Alright, alright, what's good y'all? Soul here, and welcome back to the story mode. So, just in case you don't know who I am, hi, hello, what's going on? I'm usually known as a Poketuber, as described by my main channel, Soul Story Mode. Go check that out if you enjoy Pokemon related content. But over here, I like to talk a little bit more freely. I like to do these podcast style discussions where we talk about anything within the realm of gaming and potentially even anime. I'm gonna be trying something out soon, so you know, keep 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 track, you know what I'm saying? I, I may talk about an anime you like, but for now, we've been talking a lot about Nintendo related stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna keep doing that. And one of the biggest thing that's been uh, like bugging me when it comes to Nintendo is their spin-off games. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. Obviously, I'm under the impression that Nintendo needs to do better when it comes to their spin-off games, right? And as you've known by now, I'm sure, if you've seen pretty much any of my previous videos, you've known that I've uh, been pretty petty with Nintendo for a lot of things <laughs> within, the, within the last couple of years. I, I still love them. I still play their products. Like I said in my pre one of my previous videos, I did just recently finish Metroid Prime Remastered, right? Dope ass game. Awesome. $40 is okay. Much... You know, it's not a $60 title, so I can't, I, I can't be too mad about it, but it was really good, you know? And so, you know, as, that's just proof. I love Nintendo. I just feel like they could do a little bit of fixing in the business department. And one of those things that I would really love them to fix up a little bit is how they take care of their IPs, right? Um, they don't capitalize on them at all. Like, we have literally given them so many, like, great potential... You know, we, we've given them proof like we, that we would love certain styles of games with their IPs. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, a lot of games have just gone through the ringer and they haven't done well or something went wrong with them. We're just like, hey, that's okay. We would love to see more Star Fox. We'd love to see more Donkey Kong. I mean, Donkey Kong has been fine. <laughs> you know, we, we are, we've even gone as far to say, hey, we would love to see some F-Zero. You know what I mean? So... That just goes to show, you know, I'm, I'm, I love their IPs. I love Nintendo. And I would like to see more out of these IPs because I feel like they could do so much, right? For example, right? <clears throat> now, a lot of you may not agree with me, but I'm a fan of Warriors games, <clears throat> right? And... Two Warriors games recently came out, uh, they came out within the last couple of years as spin-off games for two IPs, which was Zelda with Age of Calamity and Fire Emblem Warriors for Fire Emblem, <laughs> if that wasn't, you know, obvious. <clears throat> so, I love both of them. I, I love both of those games, right? I love the series. I love the series that they come from, but I gave the spinoffs a shot because, you know, I like Warriors games and I like the franchises. Love the games as their own individual things. Awesome. Great. Looking forward to whatever comes next if something else comes next for the spinoffs. Obviously, we got <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom and we just got Fire Emblem Engage, which is another conversation in of itself. We'll get to that one day for sure. For sure. But... You know, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and let that get a little bit of a breather before I come back to that because I played the crap out of Fire Emblem Engage. <laughs> but anyway, I want more and better spinoffs in between the mainline games so that we're not left with absolutely nothing in between. You know what I mean? And this is me just being a little greedy. So honestly, I don't blame you if you're you're already sick of hearing me talk. I, I get it. But I'm, I'm going to be a little greedy, right? But... In, in turn of me saying that, I hope this doesn't, you know, I, I hope it's recognized that I do recognize what is put out as opposed to, you know, what we're not getting, right? So, for example, right, I think that Zelda and Fire Emblem did awesome. Age of Calamity was a great holdover in the middle um, before Tears of the Kingdom and Fire Emblem Warriors, the most recent Fire Emblem Warriors, was a great holdover before we inevitably got Fire Emblem Engage both great did what they needed to do great just little tidbits for those respective series okay but the problem with those games is that 
they decide they the the weird thing with warriors games specifically is that they never seem to fit with the genre of what they're doing spinoffs for right with zelda you're you're going into zelda for like you you get your fair your fair share of action and stuff like that but you're going in for puzzles you're going in for exploration you're doing a b or c the action is usually the last part that you're kind of worried about with zelda you know regardless of how you feel about the action and the fighting in zelda games that's not usually the primary focus you're going in for the story you're going in for the exploration you're going in for the gimmicks the the puzzles the action that's cool too and if it's good awesome great it's not that's not the main focus of zelda okay and then in turn with fire emblem you're going in for the strategy you're going in for the story you're going in for the characters the the, the action is animated for you. you you don't have to do anything you just move them like chess pieces and they do everything else for you it's all strategy so giving warriors games giving hack and slash video games for those respective franchises it's kind of weird for fire emblem it, it to me i mean for both of them it it works for me right because i'm I, i'm very divisive I, I play all types of games i play everything under the sun so warriors games i'm not under uh, i'm not unfamiliar with those but for hardcore fans of very specific series when it comes to zelda or fire emblem they aren't usually on the same page with me in which they aren't interested in the warriors games most people that i know that are hardcore fans of zelda they love zelda they played every zelda game under the sun even like the games i i've played most zelda games i have i still have yet to touch oracle seasons hardcore zelda fans they played those they got that triforce heroes they got that i mean i got that too but they got that you know what i'm saying but then there's fire emblem or i'm sorry uh hyrule warriors they're like no no i didn't want that why not it looks kind of boring it's a zelda game with crazy high class action and story what what what, what else does it need ah, it just doesn't look good to me <laughs> that's a crazy thing to me that they just completely skipped over the warriors game because it's just it's just not their style and that's fine everybody's completely allowed to have their own preference not everybody just because you're a zelda fan doesn't need to mean you need to pick up every single zelda game but i don't know i, I just feel like it's such a missed opportunity and i, I feel like I, I i just really hope that nobody's discouraged in developing games like this because there is a fan base out there for them and plenty of people played age of calamity but it's just not what th that fan base is looking for and so you know, I feel like there's there's something to be noticed there, right? I think they can do a better job of giving fans more of what they want while still being somewhat in tune with their fan base, right? Because a lot of the the the, the spin-off games that we have nowadays just aren't doing it. Outside of those two, most Nintendo spin-off games just aren't it i've already had my conversations about pokemon spinoffs again that's all on the main channel <laughs> it's over there if you want to see it but when regardless you know regarding everything else they're completely out of touch right because i don't count mobile games as spinoff games but we'll get to that right so oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to hit y'all <laughs> One of my examples of being completely out of touch or just not having good general spin-off games is the Mario series right now. I did talk about this fairly recently in one of my past two videos, but all of Mario spin-offs have gone to absolute garbage, right? The only okay one right now is Mario Kart 8. But even that in of itself is a problem, right? Me personally, I have beef with it because I don't know what happened, but my copy of it is gone. I had a physical copy, MIA, gone, right? So for me to have to go out, spend another $60 on an eight, nine year old game, and then another 30 to get new content for the new tracks, it's just not worth it to me, right? So Mario Kart, whatever, that, that could do whatever it wants, I guess, it's okay. 
but it's not even a new one. It's just a port. Okay, and then there's the rest of them. Any of the sports games that have come out, uh, any of the sports games that have come out for the Mario franchise within the last decade, dick. <laughs> Complete gar- I'm sorry. Mario Strikers, garbage. Mario Tennis didn't last long at all. It was an absolute, just like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Mario Golf? Nobody talked about that for more than a couple of hours after it came out. I have not heard a single thing about Mario Golf after that. Any of the sports games just aren't doing it, okay? And then, you shouldn't, I, I shouldn't, I need to stop doing this, but the RPG series. Mario, no, 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 before even that, right? We had Mario, oh, and then there's Mario Party, which, I don't know, that's your classic, like, you go, you go to your friend's house, you play for a couple of hours, and then you do something else, and then, that game is collecting dust forever like okay whatever cool and then there's the mario rpgs starting with paper mario and it started okay but then they started lacking unique characters unique story unique worlds and things like that they just kind of went to garbage don't know why don't know how they suck now paper mario or paper mario and the origami king infuriates me not because the inherent design of it is bad or that it even looks bad or anything like that but because it's trying so hard to be something that it's not supposed to be while actively promoting it's exactly what we want even though it's not it's just such an infuriating existence which is why it's one of my worst games of all time right it's just an infuriating thing but that that series has gone to garbage and one of the explanations as to why it's gone to garbage is because they didn't want it to be an rpg series when they already had an ongoing rpg series with the mario and luigi series we have not seen high nor hair of the mario and luigi series since the 3ds which by the way the the company that was developing it went bankrupt well 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 before switch stuff or in the midst of it at least we have not seen high lore hair of a mario and luigi rpg game superstar saga and all that they got the remasters all on the 3ds we have seen nothing of those games and then we still got origami king which what happened <laughs> anyway we've talked enough about that already point is mario's spin-offs are not good they are not good anymore and there's definitely some there's something wrong there okay and then there's the case of pretty much any of their other ips which usually have almost no spin-offs at all if any kirby i don't know we haven't we got like one like kind of like fall guy style royale like survival game with kirby nobody played that i haven't heard i don't even remember the name of it no who played that all right, nobody was asking for that. It's cute, good idea in theory, but it was kind of one of those like ideas for more of a, like for long-term money that just didn't work out. Okay, whatever. We want a real Kirby spinoff. I'll even take Canvas Curse at this point. <laughs> I'll take a new Canvas Curse for God's sakes. You know what I'm saying? Metroid doesn't have anything. You know, it doesn't have any spinoffs, even though Prime is apparently the spinoff series. That doesn't make any sense to me. Star Fox, the IP in of itself needs more games. Spinoffs are the least of its worries, but if hey, if we had more spinoff games that were good, we could have had something in between while waiting for our new mainline Star Fox because there's no way in hell they're just gonna sit there and let Star Fox die, right? And then there's like, you know, the, the IPs that are doing okay on their own with like Zelda and Fire Emblem and stuff like that. But personally, I still feel like they're underutilized right with zelda i could have i could have totally seen some kind of like standalone turn-based rpg spin-off series with linkle and her little journey you know what i mean linkle's a completely different character from link but something in the world of hyrule that's an rpg where we play as this girl and she's using her little bow and arrow or her crossbows to fight enemies in unique ways and maybe she meets other people would love to see something like that that could totally be its own little series people would play the crap out of that give it a gimmick i don't care i would love to see an rpg series in the style of zelda 
or Kirby. I'm serious. Fire Emblem? Honestly, just make a dating sim. <laughs> like, honestly, for Fire Emblem, just make a dating sim, bruh. That's all you gotta do. Take all your best girls from Fire Emblem and make a dating sim. Or, or your boys, too. Honestly, bro. Secret? Crom? Robin? I'm telling you, bro. I just feel like there's a lot of missed potential there, right? And I feel like a lot of that potential is being just squandered, absolutely squandered, because of the unfortunate reality that long-term spin-off money is much better for them. And I say that because they're putting all their bets on mobile. The mobile market is just it for them, right? Not to go too hard into it, but with Pokemon Go, Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Cafe Mix, and Pokemon Unite as examples. All mobile games. All of them. Long-term free mobile games for you to download, but if you want the good stuff, you gotta pay. They're still ongoing for a reason, right? Fire Emblem doesn't really have a lot of spinoffs at all. It's gotten the Warriors game and Fire Emblem Heroes, which is still ongoing, by the way. I don't know one person that plays Fire Emblem Heroes, but that sucker is still schmoovin' somehow, right? Mario Kart, uh, what is it, World Tour? Everybody and their mama said that game sucked day one. Nobody, I, I haven't heard anybody playing it, but it's still bringing in money. And it's getting all the good characters that Mario Kart 8 should have had a long ass time ago. What's going on, man? The only IP... Or, I'm sorry, the only mobile game that I cared about, like, heavy, like, getting into it, was Dragalia Lost. That's already gone. And now I don't know if I'll ever see that again. <laughs> like, guys, please, do better. The mo There's more to life than just the market, bro. Like, I get it. it. It's money. That's good money. That's free money. But, oh, my goodness, please. <laughs> There's so much potential in all of these IPs, and it's just so frustrating to see that all of it just gets thrown into the mobile basket for quick, easy money that you can constantly update throughout the years with the lowest player base possible. <sighs> I'm just tired. <laughs> I want my Linkle RPG. I want my Kirby RPG. Right? There's some good-ass fan art. I gotta find that for y'all one day. Uh, I, I really like to talk about RPG concepts for these games, or for uh, uh, RPG concepts in general. I love talking about RPG concepts. Um, but yeah, I just want them to do better with their spinoffs because lately it just hasn't been it. With Mario, non all garbage. With Zelda, practically non-existent. Besides Warriors, which again wasn't really in tune with the general fan base. Fire Emblem, it's got heroes and warriors. Warriors did whatever it did, I guess. And Heroes is still somehow doing something. It, it's truly incredible, right? But because of that mobile market, man, we ain't we ain't getting spinoffs like we used to. So I don't know what to think anymore. It's only a matter of time before we get some stupid ass Metroid spinoff. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. And it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a mobile game, a long term mobile game. Watch. <sighs> but. I'm gonna leave it at that. I've talked way too much about this. I could probably talk for hours about the same thing going in circles, but at the end of the day, I just want better mobile, or whoa, I don't want mobile games. I don't want any more mobile games. I want genuine spin-off games that tell different stories throughout the worlds that you've created throughout the years with Zelda, with Fire Emblem, with Mario, with Metroid or Kirby, just more, more. That's all I'm asking for, but uh, that's my thoughts on things. How you how you guys feeling about it? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want more spinoffs like that? Do you think that we've been lacking in terms of spinoff due to the mobile market? Or do you disagree? We should absolutely stick with the mobile market and we should get more stuff like Pokemon Go and Mo Fire Emblem Heroes to really, really hit the jackpot there. Cause pick that, what is it, Pikmin Bloom? I know that's, that's soaring right now. <laughs> I'm so petty bro, I completely forgot to talk about Pikmin Bloom. <laughs> I completely forgot. Pikmin Bloom died within the same month that it came out. Anyway, that's all in the past. What are you guys thinking? Tell me everything in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I'm always, always, always going to be down there with you guys. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment, and consider subscribing for more content just like this. And with that, I'm Gonzo. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good-ass care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!